This video is to talk to you about the dodecahedron project. Look at this shape. Ah! A dodecahedron is a 12-sided polyhedron that has 12 individual faces of regular pentagons. Love this shape. I love 12. And um, isn't this a cool platonic solid? I have them hanging throughout my room, and it's one of my favorite math art activities that I do throughout the year with students. So I'm going to talk to you about what you do for the dodecahedron and what you use to make it, okay? So what I do is I will give you four sheets of paper that are exactly the same because each one of those sheets of paper has three regular pentagons on it. And what you do is you decorate each one of the faces and you just decorate the pentagon. The circular region is a flap and you'll eventually cut that out to help you put the shape together. Okay, now the point of the dodecahedron is that you are persevering through building and making a three-dimensional shape. You understand and know what it's called. You can identify it. But I also want for you to have the eight standards of mathematical practice written on eight of the faces. So, you know, I always talk about the eight standards of mathematical practice. They're up here on these posters. I have them on another set of posters in the classroom over on that other wall over there. And they say these things. Construct viable arguments and critique reasoning of others. Use appropriate tools strategically. Reason abstractly and quantitatively. Make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Look for and express regularity and repeated reasoning. Look for and make use of structure. Model with mathematics and attend to precision. Here is one of my favorite examples. My daughter Claire Hooser made this years ago. And look at her faces. The faces that don't have anything written on them have all kinds of cool designs. They're not just boring. They're colored well. They're bright and they're colored neatly. And on eight of the faces, she has written those standards, and it hangs up in my classroom. I'd like for you to do the same, okay?